Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Retail and our Demon Hunter playthrough. We are going to head down here finally today and uh, do Waking the Shield Maidens. Where am I now? I know you. In my fragmented state, I captured glimpses of a hero meeting out justice to the corrupted mystics of Hostwald. I see now this hero was you, Demon Hunter. I know you seek my judgment, but my spirit is still fragmented. As we speak, Runeseer Fajar is calling upon dark, forbidden magics in an attempt to banish my spirit to Helheim. If he succeeds, your trial will be lost. That sounds like a jerk thing to do. Uh, we need to go up top here. You have defiled the old base mystic. The God King is not worthy of the halls of valor. I spit on your ancient new thing to stop me. Oh, I, I thought you were master. gonna have a dialogue. Oops, uh, facing the right way was is always good when doing abilities. Destroy it. Uh how? <laughs> I'd love to destroy it, yeah, say so let me target it and maybe we can do something about it. I'm assuming we get out of the little pentagrams. My armies are eternal. He's empowering another rune stone. Enough of this. Too strong. I would see you banished before I allow you to grant judgment to an outsider. No, you can't. I can. You have sealed your fate, Shield Maiden. You and this outsider. Enjoy your eternity of damnation. Helheim awaits! Or the Maw, one or the other. Oh, are we going into Helheim? That would be cool. I am sorry, hero. Ah, uh, yeah, we, we are. Both. It looks a lot like Cold Harbor uh, from Elder Scrolls. I cannot believe this fate. I am sorry, outsider, for I had underestimated Fajar's power. This place is Helheim, the realm of the unworthy dead. Here, the spirits of the dishonorable spend eternity in an endless, futile battle, always seeking glory but never able to obtain it. We should not be here. We must find a way out. I will scout ahead. You should try and release some of these captive spirits. Sure, just, uh, you know, releasing damned spirits. Hey, Tuscar. Buddies. My wares are available to you. Yeah, just take everything from us, please. A bag add-on wouldn't be bad. Something that could automatically sell all of my junk, at least. That would be nice. And then I could go through and I could sell the rest. Uh, that will do. Visit again when you can. Some of the spirits are trapped in cages, other spirits are just out and about doing their thing. I return to the mist. 
for some reason this guy has a, has a ton of health. Oh, there we go. Now it's actually going down. I'm assuming if you kill somebody here in the underworld, they just come back. Or, or maybe they go to the Shadowlands after that. Who knows? Hey, buddy, what are you doing? You, you seem to have a quest turn in. I'd love to do that. The Cavaldier caught me while I was trying to put together a plan to sneak past that foul dog, Garm. Okay. I'm not sure what you're doing here, but you have my thanks. If you want to get any further, though, you'll need to get past that foul dog, Garm. I've tried myself a few times, and I think I have a plan. If we can get some of the seaweed these Calvir wear, we might be able to trick the mutt. Okay. And accessories of the cursed. Collect eight cursed bones in Helheim. And of course, because we always are, we are we are doing a fill the bar here, so we do have to continue letting prisoners go and just fighting the general guys to move that bar from left to right. Uh, one of the lamest things that WoW has ever implemented, in my opinion. You know, as if fetch quest and kill quest weren't you know fairly boring in their own right outside of their context. Then you have an even more abstract fill the bar quest in which you are killing things, looting things, and clicking on stuff. The same stuff that you're always doing. So you're basically doing double the questing without realizing it. Because you're, you're doing all your silly little side quests and main quests, but then you're also getting sucked into these uh, fill the bar side quests, world quests, whatever. It's just a way to do a quest that involves less writing. Like they don't have to they don't have to have the quest writing team actually design the quest, have an NPC, decide how it changes, or just put some objectives on the world map, put a bar to fill and be done. Yeah, it's a really easy filler for leveling experience especially. Yeah, we need a lot of seaweed. I have much to offer.
Well, one more pile of bones, and then we need to keep filling this bar. I think I, I want to go back to the quest giver before we fill the rest of the bar to see if he has anything else for us to do in this area. Because we have not even gotten the bar to 50% yet, so... Kind of hoping that means there's just going to be more to do. I will wear your bones. Yeah. Yeah, we keep hearing that over and over. It's great. You cannot escape! I return to the mist. I return to the mist. All right, let's go back up to the sky and see what it is. Can we fly in Helheim? Oh, we most certainly cannot. So Helheim shares some things in common with the Maw, being that we we can't fly here. Um, we can use our mounts at least, so that's like one step better. Stealth by seaweed. Disguise is complete. Don't mind the smell. It's probably better than that we smell like Kvaldir as well. Ugh, disgusting. This plan better work, spirit. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you, if we don't do the fill the bar, I, I won't be very disappointed. So let's just continue with this for now. I'm not going to break out of the... You know, we're neutral right now, so if I start fighting stuff to fill the bar, that's going to break the disguise, etc. Uh, let's just get on with this. Where where are we going exactly? Yeah, if we don't take the roads, we won't get there, so... Let's take the roads like a good boy, and not try to go off the beaten path. I still have no idea where this is trying to take us. Hopefully over here somewhere, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's not looking good. Alright, is this him? Uh, okay, so we got by him. That's, that's great. Sneak past him. Okay, is this past him? Okay, okay good. disguise. My armor still reeks of seaweed. Yeah, it's fine. You'll live. It looks like your friend didn't make it. A pity. But we, what, he didn't make it? He got eaten? Yeah, they didn't really go through any effort to show us what happened to him at all, did they? Confront Helia and ask to be freed from Helheim. Yeah, that's gonna work out just fine. Well, that sucks about our bro. I wish he'd got a little bit more screen time. Maybe we could have seen what happened to him. Uh, but anyway, now that we are free of the disguise, we can try to fill this bar here. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of, like, how hardy these guys are. It's it's kind of annoying, actually. I'm not really... I guess sometimes I don't understand some of the mobs when, when we do time walking. Is like, when we quest in the old world, things are pretty standard, and you know how much health you can expect an enemy to have. You know how long it's going to take your class to defeat an enemy. And in the time walking so far, we just come up against guys. Everything's your level, so there's no way to know. And sometimes guys just have really powerful attacks, and sometimes guys have a lot of health, and there's nothing really indicating why, why that's happening, or if there's something specifically you can do about it. It, it just happens. Like, yeah, we probably don't want to get hit by the whirlwind. Okay, I get that, so stay out of the whirlwind. 
these guys still seem to have an abundance of health that other enemies in other places we've come up against don't have. It's at a point where, yeah, taking them on one at a time is the way to go. Uh, which is not typically the way to go in retail, you know. Obviously, in, in Classic, we take them on one at a time, and that is how you do it. But uh, this class is designed to pull multiple enemies at once. And doing that often will uh, get us killed here. Hi, Helio. Remember Helia. our bargain, Banshee. Do not dare cross me. Ah, my loyal hero. Mm, awkward. You must not languish here. The Aegis cannot fall into enemy hands. The future of the Horde depends on you and me. Find your way back to Stormheim. I will be waiting. And she team rockets away. Perfect. See ya. Unworthy! You will kneel before addressing the great Helia! Helia's voice echoes in the sky above the altar. You say that you do not belong here among the unworthy outsider, but your spirit fragments so easily. How am I to know you speak the truth? I cannot, so you must show me. Bring yourself to the eternal battlefield and face my champion. If you manage to defeat him, then I may grant you a pardon. Have fun with my pet outsider. I will enjoy watching him break you. Oh, good. That's good. At least we can bring some joy to you, Helia. At least we can offer you that. Uh, I'm kind of going back and forth on whether or not I want to finish this fill the bar quest, to be honest. Kind of going back and forth. Let's uh, let's come over here. Your spirit feels weaker. What has she done? Fragmented us. Helia must think her challenge unwinnable. We will show her different. I am unsure what she did, but Helia has weakened you somehow. I have seen similar effects on my shield maidens, and now they are trapped by Helia's minions. I may know a way, however. The Kvaldir ships carry special lanterns bound to this place to navigate through the fog. It is said that the light of these lanterns can release bonds of the spirits. Oh, we are in a- I didn't even bother to open the map until now, but we are in a full-fledged mini-zone here. That's actually really cool, uh, that this exists, that they did this. Unfortunately, at this point, it reminds me, like, way too much of the Maw to really enjoy it thoroughly, but... Running around on mount back, you know, pulling everything in sight, not really wanting to fight stuff. Yeah, that reminds me of the Maw. We're getting over here somehow. I I'm not really 100% sure on what the hell we're doing, but... Yeah, apparently somewhere off of this cliff we can, we can do something. I I'm guessing maybe we have to come up here. Yeah, see, we have to... We have to follow the roads. There are no shortcuts. Because there's things like elevation and shit we have to account for. Like, how do we get up? Well, there's only one way to get up. It starts with a road. Where's that road? Oh, the road starts way, way back over there. Uh, near the other roads that you should have stayed on. Oh, you thought you were going to explore and find a way like that? No, you were never going to do that. Hi there. Let's see if the blobby things follow us. Doesn't look like it. Helia, take me. Drown in agony. Is the curse ended? See, that's what we needed throughout this place, is more of the clickables. We haven't really come across a lot of clickables until now. We had the guys in the beginning that we could free. I will bathe in your blood! Well, this is gonna be a death, I'm pretty sure. 
Might have bought off a little bit more than we could chew. Take me. Take me. Oh, I really wish they would stop the saying the same voice lines over and over again. That would be cool. They just didn't have any voice lines. Bloodbeard. Yeah, that's that's great. Really original there. You guys did a good job. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Uh, misclicked there. Didn't even mean to hit that button, but uh, now we did. And, you know, now, like I just discussed, we have to go all the way around to the road. Oh, shit. Even better. Oh, shit. Even better. We got, we got teleported back to the beginning of the level. Uh, mounts are not allowed here. Guys, they're suddenly telling us we can't use our mounts here. <laughs> Were we not on our mount a little while ago? Did that not just happen? Like, we have been on our mount the whole time, haven't we? Oh, man. Yeah, definitely. They must have made this place and been like, this place is a lot of fun. We're going to make an entire zone about this place one day. And then they did, and then it was the maw, and everybody hated it. Because, yeah, I could have swore we'd mounted up in here. At least once or twice. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Are we disguised again? Yeah, we are disguised again. What is going on? Don't don't fly off the edge of the map. <laughs> Look, I'm burning your stuff and you don't care because we have a cool disguise on. works for me. They're only worth two percentage points a box, so uh, we'd have to find, like, a lot of them. Ten? I don't think we're gonna find that many. Okay, this time uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna fly off the edge of the boat, okay? Uh, I don't know what you're doing, but I don't like it. Okay, now he's not really taking any damage in his bone form here. Okay, he's back in fleshy form. And there we go. All right, we might as well do the bare minimum we need to to move this bar the rest of the uh, percentage points here. At this point, we're so close that if we don't do it, it'll just be a waste. I return to the mist. Uh, where is she at? She's going to be way back over there. Let's go ahead and see if we can fly down. Hey, at least they let us use our wings still. Um, oh, we can mount up now too for some reason. Now we can mount up. Maybe we just couldn't mount up when we were wearing the, uh, the seaweed. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, you know what? That's probably it. Yeah, I think they just didn't want us mounting up when we had the seaweed on. And there we go, there's the fill the bar quest done. Let's mount up and get this turned in and hopefully we'll get out of here pretty soon. Our foe is great, champion, but we will win the day.
Sundered, I imagine the power of your weapon will be what allows us to defeat Geyer, but right now you are too weak for the confrontation. We must reclaim the missing pieces of your spirit. Helia must have scattered them throughout her realm to keep you keep them from you. If you can find them, shine the lantern and they should be set free. And allies in death. Our power alone may not be enough to fight the behemoth, Geyer. Fortunately, Feljar was kind enough to send our allies into Helheim with us. Earlier, I discovered several of them being tortured by the elemental forces of Helheim. You may think the dead can't drown, but with Helia's power, this is not the case. Uh, save some drowning dudes. Drowning Valkyr, yep. Let's make our way towards the fragments of our soul, shall we? And we'll we'll try to get any Valkyr on the way that we can. Fragment of Valor. How resourceful you are! You might make a worthwhile plaything yet! Yeah, I have to assume that we're going into this cave, aren't we? Yep. I thought we were going to pull all this stuff together, but uh, we dropped the ones we had. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have used Metamorphosis there. Oh well, I guess. Fragment of Might. So these... Think yeah. you are close to These are just the different aspects of our soul, one. right? Valor, might, what else are we going to unlock? Not wisdom or intelligence, we know the character doesn't have that. Uh, so maybe some other things, but not those. Fragment of will. You are clever, outsider, but your efforts will only prove futile.
Alright, that's both quests done. Let's get up here and turn them in, and then I guess we are taking on this giant. I really didn't want to fight anything else, but... Looks like we're not going to have much of a choice. No chance that our guys up here help us out at all, huh? Nope. <laughs> yeah, they came to fight the big guy. They're not going to help us out with the little guys. Oh good, they reset. There is no more cause for hesitation. Now is the time to strike. We will defeat this foul behemoth and meet Helia's bargain. The path out of Helheim awaits outsider. The we're still we're still outsider. We're not friend yet. We've now, been banished to the netherworld action. together and been fighting our way out and we're not friends. We're just still the outsider to you. That doesn't really make sense, but okay. The day is won, now we must collect our reward. Let us hope that Helia keeps her side of the bargain. We have fulfilled Helia's bargain, now we will see if she keeps her word. When you are ready, we should proceed to the throne. If you have any other business here... Yeah, we have lots of business here in Helheim. Yeah, lots of stuff to take care of. Some family to visit. It's, uh, no, we're ready to get out of here, obviously. What she's saying is, hey, if you haven't filled that bar yet, now is the time to do it. That's what she's really saying. It is done, Helia. We have fulfilled your bargain, and we will collect our payment. Such insolence! None will leave Helheim while I rule! Uh, and yet we what? are being beamed this up. This cannot be! Her hold is weakening. She cannot keep us here. No one leaves Helheim! No one! Your terms were met, Helia. It seems even you must honor your word. No! All right, goodbye, Helheim. Look, colors, beautiful, beautiful colors. So happy to have them back. Yeah, I really hate the color palettes of places like that, so... It's good that we didn't spend too much time there. I've been expecting you. So the dead return from Helheim and back. An impressive feat. Your worth has been judged and the trial passed. Now to your destiny, to the Halls of Valor. See you again soon. With the Shieldir's judgment, your final trial is complete, but even... Val... even... Valhalla's can wait, for now we must eat. Bring... Being dead works up quite an appetite. Uh, okay. Seek your fate. The trials are won, but your foe remains. His tainted flock bars the halls of the righteous. To sever this head, you must cripple the body. But first, Stormheim Savior has someone right. oh, yeah. important to save. Until the next battle. 
Listen well. The Halls of Valor is your destiny to claim, but it is already in the claiming. The God King befouls its steps with demons and wickedness. The dragon, your dragon allies have come to the Hall's defense, but they need your aid. The Vikril have taken the leader of the Storm Dragons, the one you call the Thier. Free your dragon friend, champion, and wash the Felks. The Felsworn <laughs> from the gate. Let's call them the Felsworn, okay? I can pronounce that word. Walk with purpose. Not the Felkscorn. Felkscorn. Nope. Nope, my brain doesn't want to read it properly. <laughs> Every time it sees it, it wants to butcher Ready it. Ready to fly. The Dark Lady's bidding. Uh, are these good? Are these guys friendlies? I guess it's a good sign they haven't tried to eat Duchess yet. Anyway, I have orders. Nathanos caught up with the Dark Rangers who were sent forward aboard the Oblivion on a secret mission from Lady Sylvanas herself. Unfortunately, the Alliance caught wind of our plan and now Greymane is attacking our outpost. We could really use you over there. Duchess can take you there, just give me the word. Hey, keep it up. Uh well, let's let's do the stuff we're doing here first. How about how about we just do that? How about we focus on one thing at a time, shall we? Oh, I love this area. It's beautiful. We had come to defend the halls of valor. I was taken from the sky. I cannot break free of my bindings. Find the jailer who made this cell. Fear not the storm. You still manage to surprise me, Outsider. Your trials are complete, and yet you still have challenges to face. The God King's forces are many, but in your weapon, you possess the powers of Stormheim herself. Approach the gates, and these powers will lay low the enemies of this land. Now let us take flight to the God King and cleanse the gates of Valor of his fell taint. Stem the tide. Skovald has profaned the gates of Valor with, the, with his demonic allies. Among his forces... His twisted mystics have conjured portals to ferry his fell allies from their blighted worlds. If we wish to stem the tide, these portals must be destroyed. May the gale winds carry. And then we have to defeat a few demon lieutenants. Fear not the storm. This guy has a little bit too much to say. Hey buddy, we can fly with you. We don't even have to ride on you anymore. It's great. Kind of hoping these guys are going to help us fight because, uh, you know, this guy is kind of an elite. It didn't seem like they helped us do a lot. I think they're for destroying the portals. Uh, that being said, even though he was an elite, he had less... Less health than a lot of, uh... Non-elites have. Okay, that didn't do anything. Okay, but are you guys going to actually shut down the portal? Because that's what I need you to do.
Oh, this is not a uh, gate we use the item on. This is a gate that we click on for part of the fill the bar, fill the bar quest. And this is a gate we click on to complete the quest objective. So, uh, two different things. The problem is we need to break this. Yeah, they keep spawning out of it. That's a problem. For those who taint this land! Demons keep coming. There must be another source. Let's, let's go turn the quest in before we finish filling the bar and see what else they're going to give us to do. They said there must be another source of the demon, so we're probably going to do at least one follow-up. The storm is my ally. May the gale winds carry. It would seem that the portals we destroyed down there were not the only ones. Demons still pour in from the top of the gates of valor of the edifice summoned by the god king himself i cannot face skullvald alone come champion let us take the battle to him Fear not the storm. yeah i'm ready to do May this uh if we but don't fill the bar <laughs> i'm fine if we don't fill the bar Is he really running away, or <laughs> what are we missing? Oh, okay, he's he's coming back on a tiny little dragon thing. Okay, yeah, we'll return as soon as the debuff runs out. There we go. Uh, awesome. So that fight is not over yet. So we're gonna have to track that guy down somewhere else.
thinking that riding the dragon probably would have got us down here a little bit more quickly. It's unfortunate that the God King escaped, but his defeat has stemmed the flow of the Legion into Stormheim. So we won, we do a lot of that in WoW, we do a lot of winning even though we lost. They're like, well you lost, but hey at least you did this other thing that has a positive benefit. But you didn't win, you didn't complete the goal. <laughs> but nice try though. Securing the Aegis. The Felsworn may be broken, but the head of the beast yet lives. The God King will still vie for the Aegis if left unchecked. You who have completed the trials upon trials must not let this come to pass. You must claim the Aegis over Skullvald's broken bones. The halls of valor await. Oh, a great battle. A greater champion. Yes, you are worthy. And so the halls of valor, that's going to be a dungeon, right? Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be a dungeon. Enter the halls of valor, oh, hey, champion. Odin. The greatest of glory awaits! Okay. Yep, that's fine. I don't think we're going to do that today. I will queue up at the start of the next episode and we'll kind of just... We'll quest for a while while we're in queue and we'll definitely try to get that done. Uh, obviously it's going to hinge on whether or not we happen to find a group for it. Let's come over this way and uh, see what else is going on. We do have one story chapter remaining. Secrets of the Shield Maidens. I don't think that's going to be tied to the dungeon, but it might be. But it's, it probably has to do with the quest chain over here. So let's come over here and we'll get this stuff going. Kind of surprised that we are almost done with the Stormheim story chapters. Uh, and the only other place we have to go besides Surmar is High Mountain. So looking at our level, we're level 43. We might be able to complete all four of the main zones... And maybe even still have a bit of leveling to do, as weird as that sounds. Uh, I don't think we can go into... I don't know if we can go into Suramar, because Suramar was an endgame zone. So, would they want us to be level 50 to go there? Or are we going to be able to go there and like actually level up there now? I would love to do Suramar if we could. Uh, we'll, we'll have to check it out after we do High Mountain. Uh, here's Nathanos. Let's see what he wants. Finally, someone competent arrives with a sorry excuse for an outpost. Our efforts to complete Sylvanas' mission are at a standstill, but now we have even more pressing matters on our hands. Make yourself useful. Our mission into Skold Ashil will have to wait, Demon Hunter. For now, we have more pressing matters to attend to. I just recently arrived with reinforcements for our assault when Greymane's ship sailed in and began barraging our walls. We deployed our siege weapons, but their ground forces quickly overwhelmed us. If you can get those catapults and take out the dogs manning the cannons, it may give us the window we need to push the attack. Hmm. And Dreadwake's Dilemma. He wants us to kill 10 Greywatch saboteurs or infiltrators in the Greymane's offensive. Try not to get yourself killed. Uh, yeah, we can do this stuff really quick. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, it would be cool if we had our mount on and we're not in first person. That'd be great. Fire the siege weapons. Apparently we only need to fire them all once. Because that's how siege weapons work, right? Give us the Banshee Queen! We will have retribution! They have awesome little backpacks, and I want one of their backpacks. So, I don't know. That's like my only takeaway from this, is how cool their backpacks are. And how I really want one. And how I'm not gonna get one. Sad, but true. Plant three Gilnean heavy explosives under the hull of Greymane's ship. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of sabotage this time around. Lots and lots of sabotage. Uh, I guess we could plant one in every little silhouetted area. So one's gonna go here. Uh, where else?
Uh, yep, that was a bad idea. So, yeah, getting killed by tons of fish is no good. I can't seem to get to my little orbs. Oh, here we go. We, we got to them in time somehow. Yeah, fighting underwater? I hate it. <laughs> I'm even worse at it than fighting on land, if you can believe that. There's two. Not seeing number three. But then again, I'm not seeing a lot right now, am I? You cannot hide from me. All right. Uh, well, I feel like we've circled the thing twice now. Is it going to be like up on the deck? They said planted on the hull. The hull is the part that's in the water, so I don't really know. Oh, here we go. We must have missed it before. Explosives are set. Get to a safe distance. Uh, I doubt that's going to matter too much. Are we going to see the ship explode? No, of course we're not. Uh, because that would take effort and animation and probably some kind of phasing. And why would we do any of that stuff? Alright, we need to finish off the last five worgen here that we need. Who have suddenly made themselves scarce. Let's come over this way. I'm glad that guy decided to run over at the very end of the fight. He's like, oh hey, I will help you. We're on the same faction and stuff. And I'm an NPC. Yeah, he definitely decided to wait way too long to be useful. The Horde will pay for their treachery. Sylvanas cannot hide from justice! Gilneas will rise. Out with it! For the Dark Lady. Get moving! Wait, what, what didn't we finish? What, what didn't we... Explosive? Oh! Shit! Did that get it? Okay. So, yeah, we, we didn't detonate. We had to get to a safe distance and then press the button. I thought it was just gonna go off like it was timed. Do not test My me. bad. Uh, by the Dark Lady's favor, you did it. I witnessed the explosion from here, but it's funny because you're facing the wrong the way. Like, you could probably see it from here, but you literally would have to, like, turn around and look through a mountain? I don't know. I don't think you could see it from here, man. Make it quick. He's like, no, I totally saw it. I wasn't taking a nap. I did. I saw it. It blew up and stuff. Uh, let's see. You have done a great deed today for the Forsaken. Rest assured, it will be remembered. No, it won't. Every expansion, you guys just treat me like I'm a brand new character. Nothing ever gets remembered. Whoops. There we go. Uh, I don't know... Make yourself useful. Yeah, that's like, it's all the same, so... What is it? Thanks to your initiative, Demon Hunter, the situation at Dreadwake's Landing is under control. We have no time to rest our laurels on our laurels, however. Sylvanas' mission must still be carried out. The Dark Rangers are heading up operations in Skull the Shear from the tower overlooking the river junction. Seek them out there and see if you can aid in completing this task. Hmm. Uh, yep, so we're we're hopping over to a different little hub really quick here. And yeah, guys, I think that's going to be a good place for us to take a little break. Next time, we're going to finish things up here in Stormheim. And then I think it's going to be on to High Mountain. I do think we're going to need to do all the zones to get to level 50, which uh, I, I don't mind that. Uh, it's better than only doing a handful and not seeing any of the progress through the zones or anything. So yeah. Oh, hey, Sylvanas is here. Uh, we will, let's see what she has to say. Formidable for you, perhaps. We'll see how they fare when confronted by the Banshee Queen. Yeah, I mean, you are like two feet taller than the rest of us for whatever reason. So, 
All right, guys. Yeah, we're going to take a break. Thank you all so much for being here. I really do appreciate your continued support on the series. Let me know what you think so far. I would love to hear from you. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.